supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest 2K player in existence. And listen, man, we got some new NBA 2K22 news. Mike Wayne is giving us some some very excruciating detail about NBA 2K22 that could either be extremely negative or extremely positive, man. And I'm gonna go over that, man. So make sure y'all watch this full video. Subscribe if you new. Help me hit 300K. I'm gonna be on all the news, the patches, all throughout NBA 2K22, the best builds, jump shots, hilarious gameplays. Do me a favor, hit that like button, turn on them post notes. But yeah, let's get into what Mike Wayne got to say about NBA 2K22. So first, before Mike Wayne talks about the gameplay, these guys give their takes on Mike Wayne. Let's see what they got to say about Michelle Wayne. Director Mike Wang. But the graphics, you know, obviously are where they need to be. Yeah. And the motions and movements getting better too. So I'm you know, movements and motions is not getting better. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Desmond Bain, you're down bad, my boy. You know, none of that shit getting better. You know, the movement was better in 14, 15, 16, 17. List goes on. Imagine if the iPhone, if the iPhone 3 model ran better and processed better than the new iPhones. That'd be crazy. How can they do this shit in gaming? I mean, just keep, you know, keep working on your craft, but you know, <laughs> you're doing a good job. No, you Do not. you want to say anything to Mike Wang? Cause we're actually going to have Flame him on the show Flame. soon. On, so do you have anything that you- Mike, can I get the logo please? Look at this, <laughs> can I get the logo? <laughs> Hey, Mike don't give logos. I already asked that nigga, man. He said he can't help me. But nigga, you an NBA player. You know you get, well, NBA Summer League. Mm. You might not be able to get a logo, my boy. I don't know. They don't, they don't fuck with y'all niggas. That's all I want. I've been dreaming this since I was little kids. Let me get a logo. <laughs> nigga said. <laughs> Anything else game specific? Maybe a 99. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga. What the fuck? You've seen the trailers, you've heard the buzz. Well, today we're getting more NBA 2K22 details straight from the source. Here's gameplay okay. director Mike Wang. What's up, Michelle Wang? Where the fuck you been, my nigga? You like, you like I know you want to learn more about NBA 2K22. Look, Mike Wang don't even look like a real person, bro. He looked like he's digitally scanned in. <laughs> like, <laughs> he looked like he's a hologram, my nigga. 22, so here to talk about it is the source himself, gameplay director Mike Wang. Welcome bro, again to 2K TV. Thing, Always a pleasure having you on. Bro, it's a great pleasure being here again, Alexis. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. So we're getting close to launch time, and you've released some details on your blog and social so, media. So tell us what's going on with NBA 2K22 that you can share with us. Oh, wow, there's so many things to share, Alexis, and it's the city got a big rework. You keep looking away, man. I don't trust you, man. Work on Gen 4, there's a cruise boat. It's city got a, uh, a big rework, okay. City leaked, leaked. It's, it's reworked, leaked. And last Gen cruise ship, okay, leaked. It's crazy. Uh, there's just so much going on with gameplay, an all new defensive mechanic system that feels way better to me. Way better. Uh, it's a lot more fun, a lot more. Mike Wayne, can I get a stream out of you, my boy? I would love to see you play the, the game. An all new defensive mechanic system that feels way better to me. Uh, it's a lot more fun, a lot more comp competitive. And we gonna see, man. I love defense, man. I hope and I pray. Now let me know your hopes and prayers. For NBA 2K22, that defense is amazing. That would make the game so much more enjoyable. And um, just across the board, so many areas were touched. So I don't know where we want to start, but let's talk about some gameplay maybe. Okay. All right, let's do that. What do you think the community is going to be most excited about with excited. gameplay changes? Uh, that's going to be a hard one to pinpoint. I'm going to say two things. But number one, 
uh, because this was one of our biggest pillars for Don't gameplay this year. It's going to be defense. defense. And I think that's okay. going to be just perimeter defense. But the 99, uh, wait, 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 the fucking uh, 610 max wingspan, 99 speed lockdowns is back. What's up? Body ups on the floor, Body movement, ups. and how the players feel oh, nice. uh, just in, in on ball defensive stances and on ball defense. Super fast uh, lateral quickness. Wait, on ball defense. Hold on. Let, let, let's listen to this. It's going to be defense. And I think that's going to be just perimeter defense, body ups on the floor, movement, and how the players feel uh, just in, in on ball defensive stances and on ball defensive situations. Defensive but at the rim, especially, um, and contesting shots. All that stuff was reworked. We have a paint defense buffed? Leaked? Jump shot contest buffed? Nigga, you, you talking about some shit that I pray that's in every 2K. It's been the paint defense, the shot contest system has been the weakest it's ever been. And it started in 2K18, man. For every 2K after, like this stupid easy, stupid casual all new block system um it just feels much more rewarding on the defensive end of the floor uh just making plays and getting stops so i think that's gonna be the most exciting thing for our community because it's just a much more balanced game and a much more fun game to play tell us some new shit hasn't he said this shit like five other places like is there nothing else bro and the second thing i'm gonna say is because uh, this is one of my personal uh favorites is gonna be dribbling i think nigga you hate dribbling this nigga's a liar you can't trust anything that come out this nigga mouth. You know this nigga hate dribbling. You know how many dribble moves he took away? He took away the 2K16 Curry hop step, the NBA 2K17 hop step. The the you you can't even carry it and you can't even do a hop step anymore without like stopping. Like remember we used to be dribbling and you hop step and then, you can't even do it anymore. You can't do the momentum spin backwards. You can't. He took it out. He don't like dribbling. I think that um, just all the stuff we've added there with the new combos and the new signature moves. New it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if you're a, a dribble guy, a dribble head, dribble um, guy, you're gonna have a lot to work with this year. What is Mike? We gonna see. Y'all let me know down in the comments if y'all think that dribble dribble guys and dribble heads is gonna be pleased. Wang most excited about with 2K22 gameplay. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, I think just what I alluded to is, is just the game feels way more balanced and it makes way more, more sense uh, just in terms of makes more um, how we're rewarding players if they are doing the right thing on the court. Rewarding players with predictability, man. We all say. I know it sounds really general and really basic, but a lot of times in the past, you know, sometimes you'd make the right play or make right do the right thing, but you weren't always rewarded for it. Nigga, that's been like that since the beginning of time, my nigga. That's why you need to get your shit straight, bro. Fix the fucking game. Stop disappearing. Stop making shit that you can't fix, nigga. And make shit you can fix, bro. You know, don't implement something that you can't take out later. It took seven months for y'all to take out Pushy, my nigga. Come on. And for in 2K22, I feel like that's um, just, it's much more uh, just a one-to-one. -one. Uh, if you make the right play, you get rewarded. You get the right stops or you, you score. That sounds amazing. I ain't gonna hold you. Hopefully they can, they can do it, bro. Um, so just shooting open shots, taking high IQ shots, much more rewarded. It just feels way better oh, to um, make the right play, get open, lie. knock down those open jumpers. There's so much fun to play with. And Luca too, right? We brought in Luca from OCAP and he gave Slow us his patented step. I locked this nigga up, bro. I don't know what's be, what be wrong with these NBA niggas can't lock this slow ass nigga up. Back jumper and his moves and um, so the nicest guy and uh, super funny. Uh, just a pleasure to work with. So we're so excited that he's our, our cover guy this year. And that's awesome. Can you tell us a little bit more about Seasons? Yeah, so Seasons is gonna be, um, you know, we've had it in the past with my so. team. And the goal uh, that Eric Benish wanted this year was to really extend the Seasons across the entire game. Uh, so I'll speak to gameplay because that's my area. Uh, what we're doing with Seasons is we're gonna try and release content throughout the entire year. Um, so, what? you know, on day one, we've usually just thrown all the animations at you, all the signature moves and shots what? and everything. Um, but we're going to try and roll that out across the year 
uh, just to kind of change the meta up a little bit, uh, give people something to look forward to, and uh, it's really going to, I think, just prolong the life of the game and, and make people uh, just excited to try new things as the year goes on. Yo, I know. this nigga's tripping. Do y'all know what this means? See, look, man, I've been playing since the first 2K, man. I know they own bullshit. A lot of y'all be like, why are you looking at it from that view? Why don't you look at it from this view? It's more content, um, more positive, blah, blah. Nah, bro. What? What? Look, look, he even said it, bro. My, my nigga Michelle Wang said, usually we give you all the animations in the beginning, but now we're going to split them up and give it to you throughout the year so y'all niggas ain't gonna be able to carry slide to like month eight <laughs> bro that shit is ass what a, what a man i i ain't gonna hold you like if if we get the same amount of animations that that we're used to and then they have a bunch of new ones that would be cool to add you know but now it seems it seemed like they just gonna like take shit away, like more limiting and shit. I don't know that that seemed like a red flag to me, bro. Uh, Y'all let me know how you feel about it. I I really think I really think they gonna try and get rid of the curry slide. Someone's gonna find something else though. I don't know, bro. Yeah, do y'all think the curry slide is gonna be there on release day? Let me know down in the comments. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Hopefully they do it right, bro. Like it sound like, like these niggas don't ever do anything right. Like I, I really hope, bro. Cause that that'd be cool. Like, you know, like oh, new dribble moves unlocks. That gives you mean more content for video. So I mean, either way, it's cool for a nigga like me. For but for niggas like y'all, I, I don't know, bro. Just, just imagine not being able to have certain animations that you know is unlocked further. Or what if down the road they have animations that you know like stretch bigs and shit shouldn't be having and it's just released to everyone what if like they meant to un only release it to the guards but they release it to everyone and now you got these 99 speed paint beasts with 30 defensive badges just doing crazy shit or or some jump shot that is just has a hundred green percent if you just shoot that bitch uncontested comes who knows <laughs> but hey man I, I i'm trying to play 2k 22 my boy what's up what's up y'all let me know what y'all think 2k gonna be rated man let me know what gen you gonna play 2k on so that a lot of players love making the dominant archetypes of nba 2k and nba okay. 2k 21 it seemed like it was the power forward so mike what do you think you the know? dominant archetype will be for dominant nba 2k archetype. 22 that's a that's a good question because that's something that we are always trying to balance and tune because we don't really want there to be one dominant archetype, right? Yeah. So um, the power forward thing is fixed and uh, this, it's much more spread out in terms fixed. of the badges you get per position and, and heights and, and archetypes. But one thing we've really focused on was trying to make all the different heights and positions have unique strengths and abilities. Wait, wait, wait. Power forward's fixed. They're fixed! I don't think they're gonna be fixed, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Maybe not with like with the badges shit, but um, I think tall players are still gonna be the wave. I mean, look at the cover, my boy. Y'all, let me know what you think gonna be the meta. Yeah, per position and, and heights and, and archetypes. But one thing we've really focused on was trying to make all the different heights and positions heights have and unique positions. strengths and abilities. Uh, so one thing that I think See, might actually be interesting sound, is you might man. have a lot of smaller players this year. Smaller um, if you players. are you know, six foot or under, you what? get a massive speed boost. Man, um, yeah, he trying to trick us. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, bro. Listen, and no, <laughs> listen to me, bro. Look, if y'all niggas don't usually tune into the channel, I'm telling you. Listen, don't make no short nigga, bro. I'm telling you that shit's a genjutsu. I remember in 16, everybody made five, seven point guards because at 99 speed, they ain't realize the bigger you are, nigga, the bigger your strides, bro. Like, just because your speed says like 81, you're moving faster than a nigga with 99 speed. You feel me? So it's a man, this this nigga lying. Ain't no way, man. Hopefully though. Hopefully though. You know, it brings more difference in the game, but 
Nigga. Nigga, ain't no fucking way, bro. Player under six foot. Nigga, I wish, nigga, I would drop. Nigga, I wish a 5'7 nigga would try to drop me off. You have access to higher ball handling ratings as well as ball like three point ratings. Three point so ratings. a lot of people might gravitate toward that, that direction this year. Yeah. Having said that, in our online test here internally, uh, we've got a guy who plays as like a seven foot center every single time and he is so dominant in our games. So, oh you know, God. I think it's a good mix because I think you're going to have people who want to be kind of that in, in, in the middle road, small oh forward, power forward and God. still kind of... Inside center is OP again, another year. Even though there are no OP inside centers in real life anymore. Another year. Post scores leak, man. Do it all. But you might see some players gravitate toward like point guards, small point guards even, and then like big centers, and hopefully we have the whole gambit covered and it's a much more balanced experience overall. What are the gameplay differences between Gen 4 and Gen 5? That's an interesting question because we wanted to do our best to try to keep parity between Gen 5 and Gen 4 as much as possible. So all the stuff that I mentioned before, like the dribble moves and combos, all that's going for both gens. Mm. Um, but Gen 5 has some, some great features that are exclusive to that generation because um, all the stuff we did with foot planting, um, a lot of tech with movement, that's all going to be exclusive to Gen 5. And we also have some pretty interesting features which we're going to probably go into in a little bit later um, uh, with alley-oops and with dunks uh, that provides oh a bit of a skill God. mechanic to those specific moves. Hopefully, when he's saying this skill shit, hopefully it means them hoes is nerfed. So stay tuned for more on that, but they're a lot of fun to use, and um, yeah, I think our, our gamers gonna uh, love, love uh, just trying out these new features that are specific to Gen 5. Well, thank you so much for giving us a preview of NBA 2K22. Yes, we are so excited for the game to release, and I know you are so excited as well. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you. It was great being here, and we're so excited for our fans this year. It's going to be a great year for NBA 2K. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you knew if you made it this far. Hit the like button, comment your favorite 2K down below. Turn on post notice, man. Go check out my other vids, and I'll be posting another vid tomorrow, so make sure y'all show up. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.